So you're a lot like me, a little bit different, and you just snagged a car and you wanna make it unique. Now we're not talking about those hideous mods that you can do, like those ginormous wings that slow your car down, or using Plasti Dip to make your car look less expensive. Yeah, nowadays there are some incredible aesthetic and performance options out there. And guess what? You can do it on a budget. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you four mods plus an honorable mention that are definitely gonna set you apart from the crowd. It's great to see all you guys again. Let's go. I was thinking that we should start this list off with brake calipers because if they look like this, the rusty, dusty, trusty parts, that work but don't look like they should be able to work, then this cheap upgrade is definitely for you. See, this is a DIY project that even I was able to complete. And it's definitely a project you can do in your driveway. And all you need is a little cleaner and some paint to complete the job. Now here's the best or, or worst part. Caliper paint will come in pretty much any color out there. But there's a couple I think you should really keep in mind without getting arrested by the taste police. First, if you're looking to go for that sporty feel, definitely get red. Otherwise, if you're trying to hide them, go black or gray. And the one color combo that's really been growing on me comes on the Subaru WRX. And it's this neon green on that blue car. And lucky for you, if I've sold you on painting your brake calipers, there's a video that I've already created to make it the easiest DIY possible. So definitely go check that out. Link in the description of that video has links to every single color imaginable. So watch it to gain some confidence and then buy your brake caliper paint. Just promise me this, do not under any circumstances get brake caliper covers. Not only do they look hideous, but they are definitely not ideal. Now easily one of my favorite modifications I've ever done to my car has been wrapping it, which you can check out the total transformation of the Porsche 911 in this awesome video. It only takes five minutes to watch, so it's definitely worth it. Now, one of the things that totally changed the look of the car was obviously wrapping it and doing it to your roof, definitely a good idea. Adding wrap material to the roof of your car not only enhances the sporty look, but it also makes your car look a little bit lower and more aggressive. Now, the first two links in this description of this video are gonna be links to either the matte black or the carbon fiber wrap that I would suggest. It's gonna be about 100 bucks or so to be able to wrap your whole roof. And it's definitely a DIY project if you watch, well, the video that I've created about all the mistakes and everything I wish I would've known before I wrapped the car. So check out that vid and you'll be able to do it. I, I have my, I believe in you. I, I really do. Because if you do give it a go, it'll have a huge visual impact. And because of the shape of the roof, it's actually the easiest panel to wrap yourself. So again, wrapping your roof, either carbon fiber or black is a huge enhancement to your car. While we're on the topic of wrap, well, let's look at the interior of your car. See, if your car has this nasty wood trim, or you just need an update, or you just wanna make it look more contemporary, trim wrap is extremely inexpensive, extremely easy, and it totally changes the look of the interior of your car, which is where you spend most of your time, so it should look good. And luckily, it's even easier than wrapping the roof. It's easy to remove the trim pieces and be careful not to break a bunch of clips. And then adding the wrap is about as easy as adding a bumper sticker to your car. And so not only will this completely change the look and feel of your interior, but it can also be brought back to stock if you ever decide to sell it and the new owner wants that ugly, crusty, old looking wood trim. So again, in the description, I will actually link to a couple of my favorite interior trim wraps that'll definitely enhance the look of your car. Now, before we get into the honorable mention, it's time for that ideal question of the day. When you pick up a new to you car, what's the first modification that comes to mind for you? Is it window tint or maybe a performance modification like an engine remap or what? I mean, let us know down in the comments. I wanna know where you guys come from as far as modifications. And now it's time for that honorable mention, baby. All right, I'm gonna cut that. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Up until a few years ago, everything was chrome on a car. And if you wanna make your car look more contemporary, a chrome delete is one of the easiest way to do so. Close your eyes and, and think about it for a second. Your car probably has a lot of chrome on it right now, and it would look really good without it. All around the window trim, the doors, your front grille, heck, even your wheels might be chrome. And guess what? You can even wrap those. 
Seriously, you can wrap your wheels the exact same way that you wrap either your roof or your window trim even. And if you decide to do this cheap modification, your eyes will skim past where they once stopped with all the chrome on your car, which if you ask me is a good thing because it's gonna update the look of the exterior and with the interior trim being rewrapped, things gonna look ideal. If you're trying to attract attention, well, there's one modification that you must do, and that is, well, lowering springs. Let's face it, lowered cars definitely attract attention. And just think about it, for a couple hundred bucks, you can get rid of that wheel gap, and your car lowered is going to be a night and day difference. Plus, not only is it aesthetic enhancements, but it also has performance enhancements as well. Take this Miata with lowered suspension. Not only does it now handle like it's on rails and have a sportier ride, but it makes the car even more aerodynamic, which are all huge benefits if you're trying to enjoy your car in some twisties. But most of all, it just looks way better. And anytime that I pick up a car, it's one of the first modifications that I consider. And there's no better place to start modding than with these five cheap sports cars that you'll never, ever, ever lose a dime on. Or check out what YouTube recommends you watch next. Oh, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. But either way, you can't lose. And as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle.